Um, I'd like to thank you for attending this inaugural Get On Board Day press conference. This is an advocacy day that is about generating the awareness and increasingly support for public transportation. Most of you know that I represent on the city council the, the first district. And the first district runs from Bartonville all the way to War Memorial, from the river to the bluff. And within my district, there are a great number of people who are underemployed, unemployed, and do not have cars, quite frankly. And the primary way they get around town is using public transportation. They rely on CityLink more than you guys probably even realize, because if you're not running and you're not there on time like you are, they can't get to work on time. They can't get their kids to, to, to different daycare situations. They can't get to talk about entertainment venue. If there is an opportunity for entertainment, you can't get there unless you have the bus. And so it is very important that we continue to support public transportation, that we continue to support CityLink and what they do, because my district depends on it. Public transportation is really the lifeblood of community. I mean, it's what, what gives us uh, the ability to have people move in and out, to, to whether it's shopping, whether it's work, whether it's uh, uh, what have you, recreation. Uh, so it's important that we uh, continue to always fund public transportation to the, to, the, you know, to the tune that it needs to be funded because uh, we depend upon that. I think that there's a stigma that, that public transportation and taking the bus is only for people who can't afford cars. And the reality is is more and more people are choosing uh, public transportation because they don't want to own a car or they at least don't want to drive the car that they own. And so I think it's very important from a lot of different um, respects uh, that we have a vital and robust public transportation system. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, hopefully pass a big capital bill this year. It's been 10 years uh, since we've had a, a big infrastructure bill in the state of Illinois. I, I was there 10 years ago when we did this and I remember the discussions and we said we said, we're not waiting another 10 years before we do this. And that's exactly what we've done, is wait another 10 years. Uh, but uh, mass transit is, uh, is, was a part of that bill, and it will be a part of the new bill.